Just come anytime between 11 and 3. If you've been watching the news, then you know that late last month the Supreme Court started discussing a case that involves the definition of marriage. They're expected to issue a ruling in June. And what is the definition of, of a marriage and how could a change in that definition impact our culture and your freedoms as a Christian? Well, Jennifer talks with Pastor Corey Shankleton about this issue, as well as the new documentary, Light Winds, How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. Jennifer. Thank you. You know, the definition of marriage is definitely a topic that's being heard almost daily, locally, nationally, internationally, and things that are taking place in the courts right now could very well have an impact on how you and I live our lives for the rest of our lives and how our children grow up and what their lives are like. Well, I am joined now by Pastor Corey Shankleton of Emerging Streams Church in Stryker, and we're going to talk about this uh, ongoing effort, I guess, to change the definition of traditional marriage. Thanks for joining us today, Corey. Thank you for having me. Well, let's first talk about um, not long ago, just a couple weeks ago, the Supreme Court heard uh, they. they arguments in regards to uh, several cases, and uh, now they're in the deliberations period. So let's talk about what's been taking place in Washington. Absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the things I think we need to understand is that um, defining or redefining marriage, is, is, it's, it's really a nonsense thought. Uh, we don't have the right to redefine something that we didn't define to begin with. Mm. Um, however, in Washington right now, I, I was very encouraged uh, hearing the reports that were coming out of the Supreme Court's or arguments. Uh, I believe Justice Kennedy, who typically is a swing vote in issues like this, uh, expressed a hesitancy to uh, redefine the institution of marriage. Uh, and as he kind of stated, uh, over an argument that's only been around for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, this issue is kind of came to the forefront about 10 years ago. We understand that it's, uh, it's not about the individual who's uh, pr uh, practicing a lifestyle, but it is about an agenda. And uh, many people with uh, finances kind of got behind this and brought it to the forefront. And so I think there's hope. I think there's great hope for us as believers uh, to see a good ruling come out of the Supreme Court if we act now and make our voices heard. So the, uh, the, the justices, you know, some of them were, were quite bold in saying, what would this matter? How is this going to hurt people? But yet on the other side, there were, like you said, uh, Justice Kennedy was making comments about how, how recent this has been to try to make these changes. Um, America, do you think that Americans in general are remembering how these votes are going? Not all states have voted for same-sex marriage. Yeah, yeah I, I believe um, that most of America stands with a biblical definition of marriage. And we've seen that over and over and over again when states are given the opportunity to put this on the ballot. Uh, very few states have passed this um, by a ballot initiative. Most of this has been activist judges um, you know, talking about that, we have on the Supreme Court two justices who really should have recused themselves from this case. Both of them have performed same-sex marriages. And so they're obviously not biased. Um, uh, reports say that um, uh, Justice uh, Ginsburg actually stated she'd made up her mind before the case even was mm -hmm. presented. And so we need to understand that this is an activist judge's or acting out, speaking out, um, um, pushing things through. But as an American people, I still believe we stand with biblical marriage. Well, let's, so we'll talk a little bit about what we as Americans or you know, Christians can still be doing. But before the uh, Supreme Court was arguing these cases, just a couple days before, you were, you were on the Capitol steps. Tell us what you were doing. Yeah, actually, we were on uh, the steps of the Supreme Court Monday, uh, um, prior to them hearing the op opening arguments on Tuesday. So the 27th, we were on the steps of the Supreme Court, and we presented them with over 300,000 uh, restrained the judges' orders. Uh, which was essentially restraining orders based on a constitutional right um, that uh, the Congress has the ability to restrain the judges from ruling in arguments uh, that they don't see in alignment with, consti with their constitutional rights. And so we had over 300,000 um, and 60 boxes filled with mm -hmm. 5,000 each lined up on the, state of the, or on the steps of the Supreme Court uh, making our case that America, especially Christian Americans, are not uh, going to sit by silent 
why judges take it upon themselves to, re to redefine something that they have no business defining in the first place. Well, something else that is stating that case somewhat and is now available publicly is a new documentary and it's called Light Winds and you're going to have an opportunity actually to see that right here on TV 44 next week. This very week it's being shown publicly in the Lima area. And let's talk about this documentary, Light Winds, How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. Yes. Um, you know, I believe it's one of the most jam-packed, truth-oriented films that uh, we as believers have the opportunity to, to, to watch and to get. A lot of Christians, I think, are kind of intimidated by this issue. Uh, they don't know what to say. They don't know where to stand. Most of us have uh, been touched in some personal way uh, with the issue of homosexuality and, and same-sex marriage. And so we just don't know what to say. Uh, this documentary actually goes through every step of society. It goes economically, physically, um, uh, biblically. It goes through every sphere of society and begins to make the case for why a biblical definition of marriage is the only healthy biblical stance that we can take as a society. So when people watch this, what can they expect to see? Um, who, who, who's, who to give me an idea of the type of people that they'll see. They have anyone from Dr. Dobson to um, Bill Johnson to former Secretary of State Kenneth Blackwell, um, ambassadors, medical doctors. They have, it, it's essentially um, the lady Janet Porter who produced this gathered the who's who in every field and begin to ask them why this matters in their particular field. And so they'll see representation from the legal association, they'll see representation from the medical association, they'll see pastors, they'll see um, um, Christian leaders, they'll see uh, political leaders, uh, Ted Cruz is in there uh, along with Rand Paul, and all of them, Mike Huckabee, all of them making the case for why biblical matter ma marriage matters. Mm -hmm. And your church is also included in this as cited as a, a healing location, or tell me, tell me about that. Yes, emerging streams. Um, I, I, I myself had been involved in the lifestyle in my early eight, um, late teens, early twenties, and so I'm not talking as one uh, that doesn't have an understanding or a mm -hmm. compassion in this area. I understand what it means to be trapped, and so, but I also understand what it means to walk into the light of God's word and God's truth, and the understanding that God has uh, greater plans than what we think we can have for ourselves. Because you are married today. I am married today family. with five beautiful children. <laughs> so yes, so we're very, uh, we, we're very blessed in our family and we're blessed that God um, shown us his truth and, and allowed us to come into that. And so in doing that, we present that in the, in the video and we also op open our, our doors to anyone in the lifestyle that is uh, struggling, uh, that wants answers, that wants to hear the other side. One of the things we noticed when we did the um, the um, meeting on the Supreme Court steps was there was four or five people that were in the former in the lifestyle formerly who spoke, and um, afterwards the press wasn't interested in talking to any of us. Hmm. They they talked to uh, some of the politicians, they talked to some of the lobbyists, but one of the one of the things that has been put out there is that we don't exist, hmm. that it's impossible. See, once you begin to move the issue of marriage from a a born issue to a choice mm -hmm. issue, the entire arguments of same-sex marriage become unraveled. And so once you make the case or once you discover, hey, there are people that have actually walked out by God's grace mm -hmm. and have actually made a choice, then all of the arguments begin to unravel. So mainstream media in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. they don't want that, that, that position made known. They don't want to put it out there. Pastor Corey, what would be your recommendations to those who are sitting at home and saying, I want to, I want to peacefully make a difference. I want to step in and say and do something without causing, uh, you know, we don't want hatred to be Absolutely. what this is about. We want God's love to Absolutely. be the thing. Absolutely. And that's one of the things we have to understand is that we're, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Uh, we wrestle this in a spiritual context. We understand also that there is a difference between an individual and an overreaching agenda. And so we're going and we're, we're confronting an agenda while loving an individual. And so that, that's, that's vital. And so a couple of steps that I would recommend is, number one, there is a movement out there. You can go on the web to restrainthejudges.com um, and let your voice be heard. That's essentially saying uh, we want biblical marriage. We, we're not going to go for any other redefining of marriage. And we're asking the Supreme Court and also the House and the Senate to stand with biblical marriage. And so restrainthejudges.com. Dot com. They can go there and let their voice be heard. Also, get, get the documentary. 
um, become armed. You know, um, a lot of people are not familiar with all of the biblical reasons why marriage is important. And obviously that's where we stand. But there's so many other areas as well, as we mentioned earlier, politically, economically, uh, physically, why, why biblical marriage is a, the only healthy environment in which mm -hmm. children should be reared, mm -hmm. that it is a very foundation of our society. And so get the documentary, get, get armed with truth and begin to get engaged, engage their neighbors, engage their church, engage their society and stand. Do you have any encouragement for uh, individuals who might say, well, it's difficult to step out. It, it, we, are, we are becoming the minority in voice, in a sense, because those who, who are f supporting this change in, in the definition of marriage are very loud, and um, they let their voice be heard. How do we encourage people to, to step up even when they feel like they might feel squashed by what they want to say? Well, I think the greatest encouragement is this, greater is he who's in us than he that's in the world. And so we're grateful for that. We understand that it's not in our own might, it's not in our strength. Uh, our best efforts are never sufficient and enough. But when you couple that with truth and the grace of God, all of a sudden it accomplishes things that there's no way we can accomplish in our own ability. And so we understand that this is not an easy journey. But know this, that if we don't speak up now, the journey's not going to get any easier. The, the, the by title of the, the documentary is How to Overcome the Criminalization of Christianity. And that's literally what we're looking at. Uh, if marriage is redefined by the Supreme Court, we will instantly be faced with understanding that same-sex marriage will be a protected civil right. And therefore, every church and every Christian business will be, be required by law to participate in those unions. All right, Pastor Corey Shankleton talking about the documentary Light Winds, how to overcome the criminalization of Christianity. You will be able to see that right here on TV 44 all next week. If you receive our newsletter, then you can find out more information about that. We have that as a main article in our most recent newsletter. The Times and more information about that are, are there as well. Of course, if you have any questions on this topic, questions at all or just some comments, you're welcome to give us a call here at the TV station 419 339-4444. And don't forget our prayer line is available for you as well. And we are always praying for you. Whatever the situation is doing in your life, if it's your own family situation, if it's something you've had in the past, if something you're somebody's struggling with, if you if you have questions, if you want prayer, email us at prayer at WTLW.com or call us at 419-339-3000. If you get a voicemail, leave a message. Those messages come straight through, and I promise we will call you back if you leave your phone number. If you don't leave your phone number, we will be praying for you. All right, back to you.